Folks, professional product photo shoots often cost from $500 to $2,000 for a single session. And that is only the start. Today I will show you how to create 5 studio quality images for 3 different products in under 5 minutes. The real cost is basically zero, apart from the Imagine Art subscription and its new flow feature that we are exploring together. I am Daniel, welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. In this video, you will see how to turn one simple photo into an automated factory for product images. We will build a visual workflow, generate several realistic scenes at once, and then reuse the same setup for completely different products. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Let's get into it! Mates, Imagine Art is an all-in-one creative space that brings together many top image and video models under one subscription. It sets this tool apart from competitors like Midjourney or Runway. This is a visual node-based editor that allows you to build automated workflows. In simple terms, you set up a sequence of actions once, then just swap the input product each time. Let's focus on flow, my friends. Think of it as a visual board, where you connect blocks called nodes into a step-by-step -step pipeline. You build the logic once, then just swap the input picture whenever you need new content. On the screen, I create a new flow project and add the import node. This is our starting point, because it lets us upload the product photo. I pick a simple shot of an energy drink can. Nothing fancy, just a regular item image. Folks, the first step is connecting this import node to a remove background node. This will strip away the original background from my uploaded picture. I'll connect these two nodes together. Now the remove background node receives the file we just uploaded as its input. I'll hit run and the background gets removed from the energy drink can instantly. This is excellent because you create the workflow once and it works for all your products. Guys, want to generate visuals for 100 items? Just run this workflow 100 times, changing only the input shot each time. My goal is simple. Take a photo of an object on any background, remove that background, then connect a node for image generation. By the way, the platform recently released a new model called ImagineArt 1.5, but it doesn't work with input files yet. So we'll use NanoBanana instead. I'll select a size of 1 to 1. Now, my friends, I connect the Remove Background node to the image URL input. We can see there's also a connection for the prompt. Let me find the prompt node we'll use for this. I'll add the prompt node here. This prompt describes the desired scene. Modern minimalist wooden desk, soft shadows, professional product photography. The prompt will tell the system to use the item that's been fed into our image input. Let's run this and wait for the result. The output looks good. Our energy drink can now sit on a wooden desk in an office with beautiful lighting. Shadows fall from the window, so everything is done completely professionally, exactly as we need it. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks! Now we scale the idea. Instead of redoing the workflow, I keep the same import and remove background nodes and simply branch out after them. I duplicate the prompt and image nodes several times, so we get parallel paths. Each branch uses the same cleaned product, but a different description. Mates, one prompt places the can in a gym on workout equipment. Another puts it on a picnic table outdoors. A third moves it onto a gaming desk with colorful lights. The last one keeps a classic white studio background with soft shadows for marketplaces. I select the branches that have not run yet and choose Run Selected. Flow generates various scenes at once. Soon we see the energy drink in all these contexts and everything looks consistent because the item cutout comes from the same source. Friends, the real power appears when we swap the product. I click Replace in the Import node and upload a smartphone photo. Nothing else changes. I select and run all nodes again and Flow repeats the full process. Background removal finishes first, then each branch builds a new scene. Now the phone appears on a desk and in a gym-style shot. You also see it outdoors, on a gaming setup and on a clean white background. To finish the test, guys, I do the same with a pair of sneakers. Then I replace the image and run the same process. Next, I'll select a size of 1 to 1. And after that, folks, I just wait a few seconds. The workflow removes the background 
and generates the same 5 scenes for this new item. No new setup, no extra editing, just a few clicks and fresh product photos every time. Well mates, let's sum it up. Imagine Artflow transforms product photography from an expensive, time-consuming process into something you can do in minutes. The Visual Workflow Builder makes automation accessible even if you have zero technical skills. You set up your pipeline once and it keeps working for every product you throw at it. Whether you need 5 variations or 500, the process stays the same. Friends, this is especially powerful for online store owners, content creators, and anyone who needs consistent product imagery at scale. The cost savings alone make it worth exploring. If you're excited to try it out, or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, until next time.